Mrs. Chicken and the Hungry Crocodile by One Day Pay and Margaret H. Lippert, illustrated by Julie Pashkis. One morning, Mrs. Chicken took her bath in a puddle. Cluck, cluck, she said proudly. What a pretty chicken I am. Big, bright eyes, short, smooth beak, but I can't see my wings. This puddle is too small. She walked down to the river to get a better look. She didn't know that Crocodile lay in the river all day long, waiting for her dinner. Mrs. Chicken leaned over the water. Hmm, she said, I still can't see my wings. I see scaly green legs and a long mouth with sharp teeth. But where is my beak? Crocodile lay very still and waited. Yum, yum, she thought. That's my dinner. I look different in the river, said Miss Chicken. She turned to one side. Crocodile did too. Miss Chicken turned to the other side, and so did Crocodile. I'd like a closer look, said Miss Chicken. So she stepped into the river. Snap! Crocodile grabbed Miss Chicken's foot in her mouth. Walk! said Miss Chicken. Let go! Crocodile shook her head. She dragged Mrs. Chicken to her house on the island in the middle of the river. Then she slammed the door shut with her tail and opened her mouth. Mrs. Chicken flew up to the rafters. Come down, Crocodile said. I'm going to eat you up. Me? Miss Chicken squawked. You can't eat me. Oh, yes, I can, said Crocodile. But, said Miss Chicken, you shouldn't eat me. Why not? asked Crocodile. Because, said Miss Chicken, I'm your sister. Ha, 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 Crocodile laughed. You are not my sister. You have speckled feathers. I have green skin. You have a beak. I have a mouth with sharp teeth. And these teeth are going to eat you up. No, said Miss Chicken. We look different, but we are sisters. I will prove it to you. Just give me some time. All right, chuckled Crocodile. I'll fatten you up. The longer I wait, the plumper you'll get. Crocodile yawned and curled around her eggs. Soon she was snoring. Miss Chicken made a nest in the corner opposite Crocodile and settled down to lay her own eggs. Every day, Crocodile gave Miss Chicken grain to eat, and every night they fell asleep over their eggs. Miss Chicken got fatter and fatter. Crocodile got thinner and hungrier. One evening, Crocodile said, this is your last meal. Tomorrow will be my big dinner. We'll see, said Miss Chicken. She waited until Crocodile was sleeping. Then she carefully put her eggs next to Crocodile. She took Crocodile's eggs to her own nest. Just before dawn, Crocodile felt something move beside her. Miss Chicken, she called. Wake up, my babies are hatching. But why do they have those silly little beaks and scrawny little wings? They look like you. My eggs are hatching too, said Miss Chicken. Look, she stepped off her nest. Oh, said Crocodile, what beautiful babies you have. What gorgeous green skin, what lovely long mouths, what darlings, they look like me. And your babies look like me, said Miss Chicken. I told you we were sisters. You almost ate me, your own sister. I'm really sorry, Sister Chicken, said Crocodile. I have an idea, said Mrs. Chicken. Since you like my babies so much, you can have them. I'll take your funny looking babies instead. Oh, thank you, Sister Chicken, said Crocodile. Don't mention it, said Mrs. Chicken. Sisters help one another. So they switched babies. Time for us to go home now, Miss Chicken said. She and her babies climbed onto Crocodile's back 
and Crocodile carried them across the river. Bye-bye, sister, Crocodile said. Mrs. Chicken waved her wing and hurried her chicks up the river bank. See you soon, called Crocodile. No, you won't, called Mrs. Chicken as she disappeared through the trees. Come along, children. Cluck, cluck. Since that day, Mrs. Chicken and her children have never gone near the river, and they always take their baths in puddles. Big enough for us, Miss Chicken tells her children, and much too small for crocodiles. The end. <laughs>